Welcome back to another spring trilogy video. This time it's going to be food related because you all know how much I love food. On today's agenda will be five spring snacks. All of the recipes are really quick and easy to make because I know when I'm feeling hungry, I don't have time to be running around the kitchen. I wanna have something now. So none of these recipes are too time consuming and you're also able to pre-make some of these recipes in anticipation of a hungry moment. I'm calling the first snack a blueberry bite because as you know, I love berries and blueberries, but sometimes I feel like I need to spice this up a little bit. So for this recipe, you will need two things, well, three things, some blueberries, a toothpick, and some Greek yogurt, or you can use whatever kind of yogurt you like. You can see that I'm just using my toothpick to poke it into the blueberry and dip it into the yogurt, super, super simple, and then just lay all of the dipped blueberries onto a baking sheet and put it in the freezer. Next we have courgette chips, and I'm just gonna be honest with you, these are not as good as real chips, these are not as good as Doritos, these are not as good as salt and vinegar chips or whatever kind of chips you like, but they are still tasty. So what you're going to need is a zucchini, however many you want, some Parmesan cheese, and some olive oil. The first thing you need to do is peel your zucchini, and if you're wondering why I'm switching back and forth between zucchini and courgette, it's because it's the same thing, and in Canada we call it a zucchini, and in England we call a courgette. I'm just a very confused person, okay? So after you peel it, I'm just slicing it into chip-sized pieces. You can make these as thin or as thick as you want, but try to make them all the same size so that they cook evenly. After you've chopped everything up, just take your little chips and spread them onto a baking sheet. Next, I'm just drizzling some olive oil over top. This is going to help them bake a little bit nicer and have a bit of flavor as well. And just make sure that you've spread them out evenly onto the baking sheet because you want these to bake evenly. You want them to be crispy and crunchy and delicious. My love of cheese is real. So grate that Parmesan cheese or you could use cheddar, whatever kind of cheese you want to and just grate it right on top. You can add as much or as little as you want. In my opinion, the more cheese, the better it's gonna be. But I will leave that up to you. It's your call. Next, you just pop it right into the oven. I set my oven to about 180 degrees and I just kind of kept my eye on it. I don't really have an exact recipe for this, but I just made sure that they weren't burning. I just came back to check on them every now and then. And once they looked kind of crispy, I decided to take them out and give one a try and they were so good. Word on the street is that courgettes are the new kale and I have to agree, I am loving courgettes. The next snack is probably the easiest snack ever, but I feel like this is such an underrated snack. I went to a fancy hotel once and they were handing out frozen grapes. So all you'll need for this is grapes. That is all you need. Make sure you wash them and then you just have to pick all of the grapes off the stem. As I was doing this, I managed to find a half grape, half raisin, but it still looked all right. Now all you have to do is put those grapes in the freezer and they will become frozen grapes. I kid you not, this is one of my favorite snacks, especially as it starts to get warmer. Another amazing snack are my banana pops. And I used to make these so much when I was younger. They are delicious, that's all I need to say. So just take a little bit of honey and I just like to put it on a plate, grab your granola and a popsicle stick. Unfortunately, I had to eat a popsicle to get that popsicle stick, but it's all in the name of a banana pop, okay? So if you need to eat a popsicle beforehand, I'm not gonna judge you. So just put your popsicle stick up the banana. I know this looks a little bit dodgy, but Trust me, this is gonna taste good, so just deal with it. You all have sick minds, all right? Then take your banana and dip it in the honey, and you want to make sure that banana is nice and smothered in the honey. Once it's covered in honey, just roll the banana pop in the granola. I had to kind of sprinkle mine on top as well. Just make sure it's nice and covered. As you can see, I broke the second banana, unfortunately, and I didn't have another popsicle stick, so I just made banana bites, a new name, work with what you got, people. It doesn't matter the size, big or small, it's all wonderful. And you guessed it, pop those banana pops in the freezer. The next snack is an apple sandwich. I love a good apple sandwich. Mm -mm -mm. Some of my favorite ingredients, apples, almond butter, you could also use peanut butter, and some granola. I love that granola, it makes me full, and I am happy when I'm full. So just take your apple and slice it into slices. You can make this sandwich as thick or as thin as you want to. If I'm being super lazy, I won't even make sandwiches. I'll just dip one slice into the peanut butter or almond butter and then dip it in the granola and eat it that way. But I think sandwiches are quite cute. Let's, you know, they're cute, they're cute. 
Just make sure you take the seeds out. I wish I had an apple corer that would just go right down the middle. It would make my life a lot easier, but yeah, don't eat the seeds. I hear they're poisonous. I don't know. I would just, I just don't eat the seeds. Stay away from the seeds. And then I'm just taking my almond butter. This is my favorite brand of almond butter and I'm just spreading it onto one of the slices. I have to admit, I love a thick layer of almond butter. Almond butter can be in my life forever. It's, it's amazing, it's wonderful. And I feel like we don't praise it enough because it's almond butter, but almond butter has feelings too. And then I'm just sprinkling my granola on top of the apple butter. If you wanna go crazy like I do, add a little bit more on the other side. I'm not gonna judge you, nobody here is gonna judge you. And boop, pop it right on top and there's your apple sandwich, yum. So those are my spring snacks. I hope you guys give these a go. Make sure you tag me on Twitter or Instagram at EssieButton if you do. I would love to see your versions. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the spring trilogy and I will see you in the next one. Bye. If you're not already caught up, make sure you watch my last video, which was a spring makeup tutorial featuring lots of dewy cream blushes, highlighter, and some very interesting eyeshadow, I have to say. I don't know why I just heard of spring, but I don't know, spring trilogy, it's happening. As you guessed, this is going to be a Let's Talk tutorial featuring my spring makeup. I used to do Let's Talk tutorials all the time where I just sit here and chat and do my makeup and I miss doing them and I'm happy to do it again.